Hey everybody, Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World Electronics. Some of you may remember my little micro PC, which actually has pretty decent specs considering it's an all-in-one tiny little motherboard with a passive cooler. That's a quad-core 2 gigahertz processor, which is pretty, pretty good. The only problem is I've only got 2 gigs of RAM in the entire property right now, um, DDR3, so i got to order some more. I bought some def uh, well, I bought some cheap RAM on um, Amazon, I think, and they both went bad already. So uh, cheap is not good. So anyway, I've only got one left that I have in here. But this little guy, it's so quiet. The only sound in here is my um, Bedini motor up there running, which is not very loud in itself. And um, that's been restoring this battery, which was at 5 volts when I got it, and is now at about uh, just under 12. So it's going on up, but it takes time with a bigger battery like that. It takes a long time with a single coil Bedini. But the topic of this video is I'm stalling the Kubuntu desktop, and I'm getting more comfortable with Ubuntu as time goes on, and I've been working with it on DIY tube video community test servers all along here for well a couple since December December January February going on uh, yeah three months so I'm getting more comfortable with it and I decided to put the GUI desktop on here now this only has 30 gigs a 30 gig solid state hard drive so I'm probably going to run the operating system on the solid state and get another external hard drive, just a slap on the board table here, for apps and everything else. Now, this is a long process. It's been about 10 minutes. So my guess is it's the RAM is slowing me down, just having two gigs. But I'm going to let it install and get this done and get this computer running. I am thinking more and more about going to um, Linux entirely and getting away from Microsoft because Microsoft is an absolute horrible nightmarish frustration. Um, there's nothing like programming hardcore PHP and your computer reboots spontaneously right in the middle of a workday. Or you're watching a movie in the evening and all you want to do is settle down and all of a sudden your Windows 10 computer reboots on you. Just boom! Or a stupid advertisement pops up in your face and you have to get up out of bed, crawl over, and shut off the, uh, you know, click away the, the ad. I am, I've been thinking about it long and hard, but that's going to be a video of its own, what I'm going to be doing from now on for operating systems and why. I've been long thinking between uh, Windows 10 and a Mac and Linux, and I have made my decision... Yeah, but that's going to be a separate video. Anyway, looks like the files are done downloading on my horrendously slow internet, finally. That's probably where the bottleneck is. My internet is miserable. And then, uh, now it's unpacking and installing. Yeah, it was probably that was the bottleneck. So, we'll be back in a little bit when I get this thing running. Still unpacking and installing. While I'm waiting on this, I just want to remind you... You may remember before I got the big servers for DIY2 Video Community for the test servers, I started working on installing uh, Ubuntu on this and DIY2. So you guys might remember this is that computer. But I abandoned this little guy since then when I got the big boys in the mail. So anyway, just wanted to remind you of that. And now this is just probably going to be my um, work computer here at the house. This is my desk and my office, and it's probably going to be my main computer as I get used to it as for, for an everyday thing. I'm also going to put a video editor on it. Now, this is not a high-power computer. i pop in a couple more gigs of RAM and a bigger hard drive, but still, I'm going to try it out and see what it can do. Finally, it is rebooting. This is the moment I've long been waiting for. It took quite a while to install on this tiny little computer but it's starting up well there it is guys out of the box Ubuntu desktop um, comes with Firefox installed I'm gonna immediately change that to Chrome 
I just prefer chrome myself and so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then get all my software on here that I like and I'm gonna start experimenting with some various video editing programs and see what works best for me and if this tiny little machine can handle video editing um, comparable to my laptop which is a um, Core i7 well now I'm updating 119 packages I was trying to get Wine installed to run some Microsoft um, files programs I love my notepad plus plus and I was going to try to run that um, but to do that I have to do a bunch of updates that's taking some time well there it is guys it plays videos beautifully this is my uh, Chrome browser and it's a very 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 nice crisp display I'm pleased with the uh, how it looks from and that's the VGA where's my light I'm in my light that's the VGA output uh, I don't have the HDMI hooked up otherwise I'd have audio I'll get that going I have the cable right here but looks good so I've got that and then I've got GIMP on here somewhere graphics I've got my GIMP video editor now I didn't yet get wine running I think it's running but I don't have anything I think it's in the background here but I don't have anything running on it yet but GIMP works so that's good that's a valuable tool oops did I, there we go that's important and I got all the updates on it so for now I'm getting it. I still need to get my Notepad++, which is my favorite code editor, and a video editing program, but I didn't go with that because of the fact that I only have 2 gigs of RAM. So i got to upgrade that before I proceed. So, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World Electronics, working on my... Uh, Linux machines converting over from Microsoft to Linux in the house.